minutes ready. Is there one? That's wrong, sorry. Four. Did you start? No. Okay. Yeah, I did, but... No, go, go back. Four. Okay, your site has two minutes of prep time left. Oh, we have two minutes left? <laughs> but if you use it up, it's not available for him. Oh, oh, I'll go then. No, I, if you need it, you know. <laughs> 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 I do need it. I'm just kidding. You're, you're totally not um, I'll start now. You started, didn't you? I hate you. I'll, I'll go over. Um, hey, I'm back. Um, yeah, I'm going to talk about how you know, the outdoor college shouldn't be abolished, you know, and I'm going to bring up, you know, my points now, and talk, just uh, let me reiterate, the popular vote matters with the electoral college. No one is saying that the popular vote is not going to be important anymore, you know, well, uh, not anymore, we still have electoral college, but no one is saying that the popular vote is not important. All we're saying is, but the popular vote um, has a balance between state interests and the interests of the population at large. You know, as my partner said, we can't give all the voting power to just the population because, as I said, you know, different states matter. I'm not going to talk too much about it because it is last time. And um, John Samples, you know, who I quoted last time from the Electoral College, said that, um, no, I actually used that quote before, so all right. No, actually, no, he said, oh, she used James Madison, right? Okay, James Madison has said that he didn't want a pure democracy. Why? Because he wanted checks and balances in the government, even when it comes to voting for the president. Because he wanted to design, like, something that constrained power for the majority, but at the same time gave them, you know, enough power that, you know, they weren't complaining about not having power, if that makes any sense. And, um... Pretty much the Electoral College was designed to reflect each state's choice for the presidency and vice presidency. And to abolish it in favor of a national popular election of the president would strike at the heart of the federal system of government. You know, that's what the League of Women Voters of Connecticut said. And I'm, um, it's not, no one is saying that the popular vote doesn't matter. But if you think about it, Gore could have won the 2000 election by only winning in the Northeast, parts of the Midwest, select parts, you know, like Chicago, and California. He didn't need to win in, you know, Wyoming, Indiana, Texas, anywhere, because he had enough people in the cities of certain parts of the country to win the election. And that's not what democracy is all about. Democracy, yes, is, you know, giving people the choice, but it but America is all about, you know, maintaining a balance between federal and state governments. And you can't just have, like, a federal system of popular vote where, you know, it's all the people just count as one entity as opposed to different states. Um, you know, third parties matter. No one said that third parties are bad. We're just saying that third parties don't always reflect um, everyone's viewpoint. And so they need to become part of the two-party system in order to appeal to more people. No one is saying that they should compromise their views, but we're just saying just modify them a little so that they aren't as extreme as to just alienate a big percentage of voters. Because if we had, you know, a third party, we had a, a popular vote system, a party with, you know, only 40% of the vote could win, and they don't represent a majority. Um, last but not least. Um, swing states, you know, they mentioned swing states. Yeah, right now, you know, a lot of the campaigns, they focus on swing states, but if you think about it, if they don't focus on swing states, they're going to focus on urban centers. You know, it's not going to be, oh, the candidates are going to Iowa, they're going to be going to New York and Los Angeles. So either way, you're going to have an imbalance, and, you know, the electoral college is just better because it maintains a balance between states and popular votes. And that's it.